We got a dead piece of cedar here. I'm gonna cut a chunk out of it to make my hearth board for, uh, for a bow drill. One piece. Another piece. more shaping and that will be my hearth board. A nice looking cedar here. Uh, Going to uh, I need a bowed branch for my bow drill. Uh, as you can see, this one's got quite a bow to it. Uh, it's got a nice bowed cedar branch. Uh, be perfect to tie a piece of uh, paracord across to make the bow for the bow drill set. I'm going to gather all this stuff up together and uh, okay. I've got uh, my branch I took from my bow drill, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this, that's fairly straight on this end, I'm going to go ahead and break this off and I'm going to use this as the drill itself. i going to do some carving, but I'm going to go ahead and break that off, and uh, We'll go ahead and use that as our drill itself. I love playing in the woods. Okay, here I've got a uh, I've got a pine I cut down a while ago, uh, not too long ago. Uh, I'm gonna try to find a piece about that round and uh, cut it off in that. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to use for that.
Good afternoon. Uh, we're going to see about getting a uh, friction fire going with a bow drill. I've got a uh, cedar, dead cedar stick with a bend, as well as uh, using uh, paracord. I got my spindle, which is a piece of dead cedar, and I've got it tapered at the top just for less, less friction on my handhold. This is a piece of pine that's fairly green, very resinous, so there'll be less friction with this than there would be if I used a, uh, another piece of cedar. Uh, you want all your friction on the hearth board, not at the top, okay? So as small a uh, point up top as you can for less friction, the better. And uh, I've tapered this down to a roughly an inch, okay? I've already primed my hearth board. Uh, basically, uh, get this on with the bow drill, spin it until, you, until it uh, burns a small shallow hole. I've cut my notch in the bottom, as well as I've recessed this a little bit just to let a little bit of air in there uh, to help promote the ember that I'm looking for. I've got a bundle of cedar bark to take the ember and uh, ignite flame. Once I get an ember, that'll go right in there, okay? And then I've got a small bundle of small sticks for demonstration. So I'm gonna set this bundle aside here for right now. I wanna make sure you guys can all see this. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Oh, and then uh, I'm gonna put a piece of birch bark underneath my hearth board to catch my ember. Don't you guys be able to see that? Actually, one thing I forgot to do, you see I've got a loose tail here. Once I get swinging back and forth with the bowl, this is going to be flapping back and forth. Uh, I want to shorten that to eliminate the possibility that it'll be wafting at my dust that I'm trying to create.
Give it time, it's creating its ember. I want to make sure it's good and strong. We have fire. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.